like a pro. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to Brandy Beauty TV. So today, y'all, we are going to be discussing how in the world can we bulletproof our hair from having split ends, okay? And so today, we're going to be using my lovely client, Taylor, here as our example and our model. So you all can see how we, number one, give her a nice new fresh haircut, and number two, keep her possibilities and her options pretty much limitless so um of course i'm gonna start off with um blow drying her hair i'm pretty much gonna do the entire process in this video so you can see start to finish um what all is necessary when you're taking someone with natural hair and very very natural hair such as taylor's um from I guess you should say longer and natural because her hair really isn't long and down her back, although it could be. And honestly, if we hadn't cut it so many times, it more than likely will be down her back. <laughs> but how you take somebody with um, natural hair, such as Taylor's, from um, to a pixie bob or a bob haircut. And so um, first things first, I wanted to say that a lot of people are petrified of the shears and i don't know how scissors got such a bad rap um but rep rather um but i feel like the the thing was oh it's such a they get too scissor happy the stylists get too scissor happy and Back in the day, I always have to think about back in the day because that's the era in which I grew up in. I remember being a little girl in the salon um, overhearing the conversations <laughs> and uh, the frustrations of some of the guests and some of the clients. And a lot of their issue was that um, they wanted their hair to grow longer, but we had other things working against us. You know, people was getting their hair relaxed. Um, and getting them back to back to back so length retention wasn't even a thing back then like most people didn't even think their hair would grow past a certain length because you know they they pretty much always had the odds stacked against them and they didn't even know it but ever since the natural hair movement and people have realized oh that my hair can grow and i was damaging it too much and over manipulating it and over processing it they realized oh my hair can grow so now we have this issue of people i'm not gonna say are afraid of the scissors anymore but we still don't see the benefit of getting a haircut and so that's why we are here to discuss this batter today so for starters i am going to insert um old pictures of taylor's hair from when i first started doing her hair all the way up into present day and so you can see just how many options and how many color combinations and haircut combinations that we have done simply because she is not afraid to get a haircut okay so they'll just be sporadically inserted throughout the video okay so just make sure you paying attention so you can catch those <laughs> okay so guys um first things i have been doing taylor's hair let me see it's i want to say 20 2018 i've been doing her hair since 2018 that's right because i had just had um uh, we just had our third child at that point so um she was still a baby and I was actually uh doing hair out of my home at that time um until because I had was I had just relocated and I was um trying to uh scout out uh different locations and whatnot and I was still easing my way back into hair, you know, after having my child or whatever. So anyways, Taylor used to come to my home and her hair was beautiful, this nice kind of ash brown, uh, naturally kind of like ash brown color, just simply gorgeous. And it was longer and it was growing longer and longer and longer. 
And then by the time I um, moved into my actual salon or studio, um, she just came up to me and she was like, I want to cut my hair. And I almost had a heart attack. And I was like, you want to cut it? Because all my clients at that time was just trying to grow their hair. I mean, I was always doing haircuts on a select few, but you know, everybody was just trying to see how long the hair could grow. So I was like, okay. And let me tell you, she has really been that client that has allowed me to really get as creative as I would like. And hairstylists need clients like that. You know, it, it doesn't have to be everybody. And this is not to say that you need to come in a salon and let hairstylists do whatever. Like, no, like, you know, state your purposes, say what you want or whatever. Our job is to make you feel comfortable, make you feel beautiful um bring your vision to life ultimately if it can be achieved but it's always good for us to have those clients it's just like let's go for it let's just see what happens because it really does test your creativity and it really does keep us sharp and um it, it keeps us fresh you know it, it keeps us up with the trends it allows us to uh, develop new techniques new skills and stuff allows us to really you know, just see how far we can go sometimes. And so for me, Taylor is definitely um, one of those clients. And y'all, we have done so many things. And her hair, when I tell you, we do some extreme processes. But the number one thing that gives us insurance with her hair is that she ain't afraid to get a haircut. And I know you like, okay, well, so I'm like, but let me tell you, <laughs> I have really noticed a big difference over my career between heads of hair that get a good haircut every now and then and those that don't. My clients that get a consistent good haircut, I, it's like they almost never have any kind of split ends. And so split ends, they are so damaging. They are like the equivalent, the direct equivalent to a weed to a plant or weeds to a garden like split ends are ruthless they're the they, they ignorant <laughs> they're unforgiving um and they will try to choke out every single last piece of healthy hair that's on your head and so with a haircut um it allows you to keep all split ends at bay and it allows you to never give them a chance to form. That's most important. So with Taylor, we are cutting off, I'm going to say at least like we're cutting off inches. Like I can't even really put it in numerical terms because that's just how much hair we cut like every couple of months because she goes for drastic pixie cuts but it grows out so fast like i'm trying to tell you if i cut her hair one week um she comes back in uh well i see her about probably like once every two to three weeks sometime you know once a month twice a month just depending on how many weeks are in that month sometime but all in all i see her pretty consistently like she comes regularly um, the next time I see her, I'm like, your hair is growing already. Like, OMG. And we rarely ever have to trim her hair because it's always cut. And so I wanted to take um, the time to encourage everybody to get a good haircut at least once or twice a year. Um, keep your ends trimmed. Do not be afraid of the scissors. Um, and also... You know, it, I always have to bring it back to the stylist. Make sure that you are in the hands of a stylist um, that you trust, more importantly, because if you don't trust them, then you're going to have a hard time allowing them to, you know, care for your hair and do what needs to be done to keep it healthy. So you want to make sure that um, you are open to get in a haircut if you want your hair to remain healthy and to for you to be able to really retain all of your length because what is length if the ends are see-through if they're split if they don't hold a curl you know like well you know who wants that <laughs> nobody so 
Taylor is that client who comes in here and she lets me just whack her hair off. We have done all kinds of bobs and thank God for um, video recording because if I didn't record these videos, I promise you, I wouldn't even remember half of half of my placements or half of my um <laughs> my sectioning because I just get in there and I just start cutting away. You know, I don't really have no method or anything. I just start going. She brings me a picture and I look and see the angles and stuff and I just come up with a way to um get to the end goal and um now she can look at it so I think I'm gonna do this again I'm like okay good let me go back and see what I did because nine out of ten times I don't ever remember but um y'all get a good haircut okay I'm gonna just leave it there just get a good haircut so as y'all can see haircutting is very technical and it requires a lot of precision um I would say almost zero room for error, but if you know what you're doing and you take your time, you can almost guarantee that you're going to get a decent and a pretty nice, um, nice haircut. And so for Taylor, um, I'm taking my time. I always take my time and I use sections because Taylor's hair is very, very dense and she has about three different curl patterns and a couple different textures. Her hair around her edges is a lot coarser and it's also, she has, also has a tighter curl pattern around her edges and on the center and, um, and in the top of her head, it's a lot looser. So I have to be quite strategic with um, how I cut her hair because some of her hair is a little bit more stubborn and a little bit more resilient. So I have to keep that in mind when I'm cutting her hair, especially since she is 100% natural. So uh, one of the things that helps me after I've given her a haircut is hairspray. And I am using the Kenra um, number 13. And I always use hairspray on Taylor when we go this short for haircuts because it allows me to start to train her hair. Um, let me tell y'all something. When you have short hair and um, it's natural, and but you wear it in straight styles, you have to train that hair to lay. Otherwise, it almost always is going to stick up. So for Taylor's hair, um, I do not wrap it or anything like that. I only mold it down and I tell her when she's wrapping it at night to mold her hair straight down when she goes to sleep. Do not try to wrap it or anything because since her hair is curly and in some areas kinky, it naturally wants to stick up anyway because it grows up. And so we're trying to train it to go down. So I tell her to wrap it going down, brush it going down, and eventually it'll start to train itself to lay down on its own and it won't be complicated for her and I can always tell when she comes back for her appointments it gets easier and easier and then it gets to a point where I don't even have to um do soft modes anymore like I'm doing now I don't even have to do that anymore because it, it's laying and it behaves so um I love doing haircuts because it, it, it allows you to really cultivate a head of hair let me tell you i've had a couple of clients lately who have considered just cutting their hair like really really low and i'm like oh, wait a minute i thought you told me you wanted to grow your hair like i thought our goal was to get it nice and healthy see how long it can grow and they were like no i don't know what to do with my hair anymore like i know it'll grow healthy now since i've been coming to you it's just thriving and i'm like okay well that's good to know you know it makes me feel good that Help, I'm helping people achieve their goals, but then lately they've been getting to this point where they're just sick and tired. And so I'm like, <laughs> before you say to take the plunge and try to whack it all off, let me just express to you that the longer your hair gets, the more it's going to lose its shape. So it's always good, like I'm telling y'all now, I tell my clients the same thing to get a haircut, okay. And so I say, let's, I always tell them, let's start off with long layers. Long layers is like insurance for a haircut because it gives people just the right amount of, you know, personality and a little va va voom to the hair without having to sacrifice and lose so much of their length. So 
I normally start off with long layers. And then after that, they're like, I think I want to go a little bit shorter. I saw this haircut. I'm like, okay, bring it in. And then they really start playing with it because, you know, in today's society, people are more like get up and go. You know, you have that sect of people who are all about wanting to wear a good ponytail. As long as they can put in a ponytail, they're fine. I get it. I am a part of that community of the ponytail people. Okay, look, guys, I totally understand how that works. If I can't put my hair in a ponytail, I'm miserable. But I also don't like my hair all the way long down my back. And I thought I was going to be able to grow it down that long. This is not about me, but I can't do it. I, I just can't do it. It's too much. It's just being away. My kids be pulling on it. It be strands. It just, it's just be too much. So I gave myself a haircut not too long ago because I wanted my hair to move. And when it gets too long, it stops moving. So anyways, I tell my clients, hey, let's start off with long layers. And then after that... It slowly start graduating to kind of curtain bangs and other little things when they realize how fast it's going to grow back. Because literally every three to six months, it's, it's, that's normally when it's about time to get a new haircut, um, cut some more shape into it. And so it just, it just provides such good insurance. And then also in Taylor's case, we color her hair a lot. And so instead of having to wait for her color to grow out, we just cut it out. And that's my favorite method. Um, if you don't want to grow it out, which some people, you know, they do that. And after a while, it kind of looks tacky, you know, because you be having the ends and it'd be like eight inches of new growth in a crown or six inches, whatever. And it's like, you know, it, it just, that's my least favorite way. <laughs> my favorite way is to cut it out because... You can cut it out. You can play with a new haircut. It grows back healthier. It grows back better. You don't have to try to savage no hair. You don't have to overprocess anything. You just got a brand new head of hair to work with. And so, as you can see, y'all saw all of Taylor's uh, transformations over the years and all the combinations we've done. And I don't even know if that's all of them, guys. I mean, that's just what I could find. I had like fifteen thousand pictures to choose from, and I was like, "Ain't no way I'll be able to get through all of these." But I pull from what I have, and this is this is a lot of a lot of what we done. And so, can you imagine every you know four to six months she's getting a new look? You know, it's really really fun, and she looks so adorable. Haircut came out so cute. She loves a good pixie bob, like, and a pixie bob is really just like a short bob. That's really all it is, you know, like neck length. A little like chin length almost you know that's kind of like a pixie bob that's pixie bob territory rather and it looks so pretty on her and yes you know i know soon she she's gonna take the plunge and go all blonde soon i'm excited for that and i'm actually gonna film that for you guys so we can see how that goes but yeah y'all that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching um, if you have any suggestions or anything that y'all want to see, um, put them in the comment section down below. I'm always interested in seeing what y'all want to see. Um, if I can film it and if I can get it done, um, you know, I always will. So thank y'all so much again. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in my next video.